Hello students, I am Priyanka and I am your digital mentor. Today I am here to start with the chapter number 9 that is pollution. So let's kick start. Take the three eco-friendly activities. 1. Using a carpool. 2. Cutting down trees. 3. Burning garbage. 4. Not using plastic bags. 5. Using a bicycle for going to nearby places. The Earth is the only planet in the solar system that supports life. Life on Earth exists in the biosphere, a narrow strip made up of land, water and air. The conditions in which an organism exists make up its environment. Our environment consists of both living and non-living things. All the living and non-living things in the environment are interdependent. A healthy environment provides coexistence of living and non-living things. It must be clean because clean surroundings help us to remain healthy. Dirty surroundings cause different types of diseases. It is also a major cause of environmental degradation. So children, now we see the types of wastes. There are mainly two types of waste material. They are biodegradable and non-biodegradable. So children, let's start with the biodegradable waste. The waste material that rot easily and mix with the soil are called biodegradable waste. Microorganisms such as bacteria, fungi and earthworms helps to decompose such waste. Leftover food, fruits, vegetable peels, paper and leaves are all biodegradable. So the second one is non-biodegradable waste. The waste materials that do not decompose easily are called non-biodegradable waste. These remain in the environment for a long time. Plastic goods, aluminium cans, bottles and silver foil are a few non-biodegradable waste materials. Now see the another type of pollution that is air pollution. Air pollution is a contamination of air due to harmful substances. The major cause for pollution is burning of fuel in homes, factories, vehicles. Air can also get polluted due to natural causes such as volcanic eruption, forest fires, sandstorms, etc. These even send smoke, ash and gases in the atmosphere. The impurities in the air cause asthma, bronchitis, pneumonia and lung and heart disorders. Air pollutants in the form of harmful gases also have harmful effects on the environment. Air pollutants in the form of harmful gases also have harmful effects on the environment. They can kill plants and even animals. Air pollution also causes global warming and acid rain and allows the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun to fall on the earth. Now children will see the water pollution that so when chemical sewage and garbage enter lakes, streams, rivers, ocean and other water bodies they get dissolved in water. This results in pollution of water. Water pollution leads to the given harmful effects. Aquatic life is affected and there is less production of fish. Drinking polluted water can cause diseases like jaundice, dysentery and diarrhea. Polluted water when used for irrigation results in decrease in agriculture produce. Now the next is soil pollution. Soil gets polluted when we add too much pesticides and fertilizers to the soil for growing crops. 
soil pollution may also occur when we throw waste from factories farms mines hospitals homes and land rainwater washes such wastes and carries them deep into the soil land pollution makes the soil infertile it harms the tiny organism in the soil and adversely affect the growth of the plants and vegetation so now we are moving